What's going on guys, it's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Fallout 3. Now, in between the last episode and this one, is that Nadine? No, it is not. You're just an unnamed travel. Um, in between the last episode and this one, I went back to, uh, what's his name? Tobar? I think that's right. I went back to Tobar's little boat, and I dropped off some stuff, and I picked up the uh, backwater rifle. Just because I felt like the alien stuff was kind of giving us a bit too much of an edge. So, while I do still have them, they'll be like a last, last resort. Also, the Alien Disintegrator, and I believe... No, the MPLX is fine on uh, condition, but the Alien Disintegrator is about to go anyway. Uh, we have a Double Barrel, and the Terrible Shotgun uh, as our main damage sources, but um, I was looking up some stats on this, which I can't really tell you, but um, it's kind of like the Lincoln's Repeater but it uses um, 10 millimeter. So clearly we have a lot more 10 millimeter rounds than we do 45. And just to show, a 10, millimeter, 10 millimeter is almost uh, just above 2,500. 45. Well, 44 is 491. I thought we had 45 ammo. I guess it was 44, my bad. <clears throat> Hi, Kroto. Yes. We're talking to this guy for a reason. Um. I don't know how to exactly do this, though. So, why did you attack? I'll just I'll run through the options and see if it pops up manually. If not, I'll go about doing it another way. That hill is holy. It must be cleared. Jackson told us this. Some went to fight. I stayed with Ponga. Ponga does not fight. Ponga grows where it can. Ponga knows what is important. Okay. How do you get so much Ponga fruit to grow here? Ponga grows strong. I help Ponga grow stronger. Ponga understands me. I understand Ponga. That is all it needs to be. Okay, cool. Here it is. <clears throat> Child of heart. I love digging in the dirt, but I can never get anything to grow right. It feels good to work with dirt, doesn't it? Some people call it work, but they don't understand. Take my shovel. It has seen much use and much dirt. Maybe it will help you, but be careful not to cut yourself with it. It can make you sick. All right, we just got the fertilizer shovel. I have to go now, Kroto, but enjoy sitting on this couch and tending to the panga. Be well. You as well. All right, so we had a goal there. If I can go to my weapons. Uh, no, I can't. Okay, the fertilizer shovel. Does 20 damage, uh, base. It has a decent AP cost, I think. And if you will see the effects tab, it does health, uh, minus 4 for 10 seconds. And I do believe it stacks. Wow. So, I'm gonna save real quick here. <clears throat> I know it's kinda messed up. He just helped us and we're gonna kinda whack his people with it. But, just to show you guys, in VATS, uh, I have a full bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can go 5. And that almost takes him out in one hit. Alright, so there's that. So let's attack you. Actually, let's just whack you once and kind of see. See? Their health is depleting. Minus four for ten seconds. And you should... There we go. Return to dust. Right, there's that. And then... Where'd this guy go? Ah, here. Yeah. Kroto is going to be a bit more burly. Oh, never mind. What else you get on you? Refine? Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, this shovel is pretty good. It's nothing like the shish kebab, um, especially with our perks, but uh, I believe we have melee, like, maxed out. So there's that. I don't believe we have the um, pyromaniac perk. But if we do, that makes it all the more better for our case. <clears throat> Alright, so there was a reason I went for that, uh, obviously. 
Uh, I wanted the unique, um, unique shovel. Oh, I wasn't the chest I was trying to open, but all right, <laughs> I'll take it. <clears throat> so uh, we also have this. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys on the map here. We also have this uh, marker here. <clears throat> it's pointing to a uh, undiscovered location currently, but I'm hoping we can go there and uh, you know explore it a bit. I'm trying to show you guys all the side quests, mostly in like unique locations. <clears throat> Excuse me, because as I've said in episodes past, I don't want to drag this on too long. You know it, I know it, we're all, we're all, we, uh, we all are 100% aware this series is coming to a close, and I'm both happy and sad about it, but I don't want to drag it out, but I do want to, like, give this DLC, uh, justice. I do want to show you guys things, um, about it that I personally have never, like, really explored, because I mostly stuck to the main quest. I didn't feel it worth my time. To go all the way out and grab every location and explore every location. Uh, although I did grab every location. I just, you know, never fully explored them. Um, and now I'm kind of making amends to myself a bit. Let's see how it does against the tracker. Not too bad. We do have to go to repairman to get it, you know, repaired. But that's fine. Got a couple stim packs. And I won't make this the combat the whole time. I understand that's not, like, fun for you guys. <clears throat> Just completely missed him after I whacked him anyway. Alright. But yeah, it holds its own. It's not a bad shovel. Uh, but yeah, I, I am sort of making amends for all the times I kind of just walked by these locations and you know never did anything with them. Alright. So I believe it's around here somewhere. This looks like a new location. Haley's Hardware. Okay, this isn't where I was wanting to go. Um, wait, what the? Uh, the, the marker is pointing that way, which is all the way over here. I want to go over here. So, that's really strange. And now we're facing the marker. Okay, yeah, I was wondering why we had to cross a river. I thought it was on the other side. But you know, I wasn't going to argue with the marker. <laughs> I guess I should have. <clears throat> Anyways, though, we are heading to a different location. I guess I'll check out Harley's Hardware. I'm going the right way still. Yeah, I guess I will check out Harley's Hardware at some point. Uh, that wasn't my goal to go there. But it looks, you know, uniquely named. It looks like it has an owner, Harley. So I'll check it out at some point. <clears throat> and if it turns out to be just a shop, I'll go there, repair some weapons, and kind of... Leave it be. Uh, we are getting close, yeah. Okay. I don't know exactly where this is. It's sort of a rough estimate of where I think it is. Because of the, you know, markers based off. Oh! The hell is this? Smuggler. Oh, I can't check the other person now. What the hell? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's for sure. Herzog Mine. Okay, yeah, we did find it. Empty Nuka Cola bottle. Am I getting attacked by those smugglers now? Oh! No, it's by, uh. What's attacking me? Uh, I, I can see the marker over there. Is it. It's gotta be like a bloat fly, because it hit me from far away. Mirelurks can't do that, unless it's a Mirelurk king. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, was it another smuggler that he killed? Smuggler confession. Whoa, okay, this wasn't what I was wanting to see, but I'll definitely check it out. Smuggler confession, let's listen to it. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Just park that thing somewhere else. My name is John Adlam, the son of Joseph Adlam, brother of Richard Adlam. Two days ago, I was caught stealing from the group's claim. Uh, today, uh, with the consent of my father, I am to be shot and killed on the cliffs of the old cathedral by the hands of my brother Richard. With my execution, my punishment is exacted, and the Adlam name will be avenged. Let my punishment be a reminder to those who may be tempted to do as I did. Well, dang. 
That's, uh... <laughs> That's kind of strange. I didn't expect that to happen. It's definitely unique, and this smuggler guy is, like, nowhere to be found anyway. I guess he despawns. <clears throat> huh. Wait, there's a smuggler. Wait, oh, there's there's his eyeball. <laughs> All right, well, let's actually go into Herzog Mine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I still have a bit of a cough, so apologies for that. All right. I think there's a person trying to trying to make us believe this place is haunted. I don't know what's in here. Except for one specific item. And actually, if we are sneaking around, I do want to... There we go. Let's uh, change it up a bit. Don the uh, fertilizer shovel. Mind box, huh? Biker goggles. Well, can I, I can hear the baby cry. Clearly these workers were kind of saying screw it and I'm just going to enjoy my last moments. Oh, it's a glitchy bottle. Huh. Okay. Tool cabinet. No, nothing. Nothing we can make use of anyway. More mines. Okay. Seems to be a common theme here. <clears throat> Ooh, bear traps. Really, if you're sneaking around, you don't want to be disarming bear traps left and right. Uh oh. What did I hit? Was there like a trigger right here? That's interesting. Oh, the camera flashed us and blinded us. That's cool. I didn't expect it to be like this. I expected one thing. Oh, that's sounds like a kid. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was our target. Uh, okay. Head wrap biker goggles. Don't want mines. What the heck? Okay, I, I came in here for one thing. I didn't expect all this. But I'm definitely glad I'm showing you guys. Up over the barrel. Okay. Still keeping an eye out for stuff on the ground. Ooh, money. Sledgehammer, shovel. Wait, isn't there like a rolling mechanic? Or I think rolling's only in Skyrim, right? All right, miners rest. <clears throat> kind of sounds like we're being shot at. Let's go this way. Oh, he's practicing BB. Practicing his practicing his aim with a BB gun. Who's this? He's friendly. You made it past my traps? Uh, I mean, get out of here, Mister. Aren't you afraid the ghost will get you? Ghost? Where? I'll humor him. Ghost? Where? We better get out of here. Yeah, you better scram. him. If he looks you in the eyes, the brain will melt. Your toys might work on the locals, kid, but not me. Yeah, well, bullets work on everybody. Try me, mister. I dare you. Settle down. I'm not going to hurt you. Well, all right. But any funny business, and I'll pop you one. My name's Kenny, and I'm the boss of this mine. Tell me about yourself, Kenny. Did you know I once bagged a Myrler 10 feet tall? Cool. 
Where, uh, where are your parents? I don't know. I ran away a long time ago. I live here all by myself. <laughs> That's cool. Why'd you run away from home, though? I wasn't born right. Mama hid me in the basement, and Pappy kind of just forgot about me. But I knew I had to go before I grew up. Dang, what do you mean you weren't born right? Look at me! I don't get the marks! I go around the wets and folk will shoot at me, thinking I was one of your type. Where are your parents? I already told you I ran away. Shut up about it, alright? Alright, alright, I'm just clearing the options, man. Where'd you learn how to make traps like that? I got bored locked up in the basement all the time. So, I started taking things apart and putting them back together again. Things aren't so strange when you can see all the stuff that makes them. You know, see something's insides? That's what the real thing is. Yo, that's, um... That, depending on how you take that, that can be creepy. <laughs> so, Kenny, what do you want to be when you grow up? I've grown up enough already, and I'm the only thing I can be. Me. Fair enough. What's it like living in Point Lookout? The grown-ups like my mom and pop just live in the wet. They're okay. They just don't trust outsiders like you. Most think I'm an outsider too, because I don't got the markings on me. I tend to stay away from the grown-ups. Except when they have a campfire. Some nights I hear them dancing. Then I sneak out to watch. Hmm. Alright. Anybody ever say you talk too much? Actually, yeah. I'm not going to take over his hideout. Tell me about this mine, Kenny. Old Man Herzog's mine hole isn't much, but it's home. Tell me about Old Man Herzog. He was a mean old man. Owned this mine a million years ago. Made the miners work real hard. And didn't give them any money or food for the kid. One day, a bunch of miners sat down and just stopped working. Old Man Herzog, he didn't like that. Not a bit. So he blew them all up. The million, million tons of dynamite. No one wanted to work in the mine after that. Then old Herzog came down here and hung himself. They say his angry ghost still haunts the mine. That yeah, doesn't scare me, though. Dang. <laughs> Why are you hiding down here? Swamp folk know old Herzog's mine hole say it's haunted. So I knew most folk wouldn't want it this way, except outsiders like you. Doesn't usually take more than a clapper jaw and a leg to scare them off. How do you survive in here all alone? I go out to play some days. It might bag me a shell man to eat. My alert. Most days, I just sit here with my stories and toys, though. Dang. Anybody? See ya, mister! So he just completely... There was a force... Ooh. We found a treasure. So yeah. Um... He came in here for that. He doesn't see us. And what he doesn't know... Can't harm him. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna sleep in his bed. <laughs> He's got a confederate hat. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't expect to find a full-on, like, kid living down here. <laughs> but yeah, if you want lessons in... Oh, yeah. Never mind. You already knocked all this stuff down. How you having fun playing against the, uh... The garden gnome? With all your glitchy floor pieces? Got a ladder to point lookout, though it requires a key. Okay. There's a thing down here, whatever it is. Oh. Fun. Some yeast, too. Can't forget the yeast. Alright. <clears throat> Let's continue onward, shall we? D never mind. <laughs> I guess that's that. Uh, we got this thing over here. Where is this head? Where is this lead? Black damp shaft. Okay. Well, I really only came here for the mask. I'll be honest. But I won't say no to exploring more. Looks like a whole thing from my lurks. Oh. That's probably the way you're supposed to fall down and then you come back up that path. So, let's go ahead and save real quick. <clears throat> this is cool. I like finding unique interactions like this. Ah! <laughs> Crunch! That's why I love Nestle Crunch.
<laughs> uh, you guys ever see that? That's a hilarious video. It gets kind of boring after like the fourth or fifth time watching, but it's still pretty funny. All right, I do want to see if there's a way I can get down here without breaking my legs. Oh, wow, we did it without breaking our legs. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, there's a Myrler King there. Okay. It's a whack him with a shovel. Oh, Swamp Alert, sorry. Dunk. Dunk. <laughs> I like the thud. Ah! Hey, don't spit on me, that's rude. I'm actually gonna kill this thing with a shovel. I find that hilarious. Good night. Alright, cool. Now we're back to hidden. Man, I could have sworn there was a way for you to roll in this game. Oh, man. Alright, what was the other one? I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah, you can keep hitting me all you want, man. I'm just gonna kind of like walk past you and all your defenses. Hope that's cool. Yeah, I hope you don't mind too hard, too too much. Oh, well, there mu that must be Old Man Herzog. All this pre-war money. Ah. Oh. Hold up, man. Come on. All right, let's uh, try this. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. It was. No, it was that one. Dang it, wrong one. Hold on. All right. If I can actually hit this thing. <laughs> Bing. All right, cool. We got this is old man Herzebug. Kind of sucks he like just killed himself. Dang. I mean, he went out the way he wanted, right? Uh, drinking moonshine. Yeah, I don't know what he wanted, really. I kind of just said that. All right, there's some caps in there, but I think I'm fine. <clears throat> Normally, I wouldn't refuse caps, but... Okay. I'm gonna ignore you two now. And see if I can find my way out of here. Oh, that looks fun. Alright. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm actually back here. Cool. Cool. Well, that was fun. <clears throat> It'd be even more fun if Kenny could give me that key and I could just, like, escape. Going out this way. But I don't suppose he will. Huh? Oh, he's right here. Oh, hello. Hi, how's it going? Uh, can you give me the key? Do you have the key on you? Can I pickpocket a child? I just got BBs. You think I could actually pickpocket them, though? What the? All right, I'm hidden. I'm going to save right here. Just because if I can pickpocket a child, that'd be so cool. In the game. Oh, wow, we actually picked up a punga fruit. Well, sorry, Kenny. Hi, did you want something? Yeah, I want to see if uh, you'll give me the key if I select this option. Seems like a good hideout. I could use a place to crash and stash my gear. Hmm, I don't know, mister. You didn't try to kill me, and you seem pretty nice for a grown up. But still, how do I know I can trust you? Do I gotta pay him? No. Oh. Oh, come on. Don't be a dork face. It'll be fun. I wonder if this leads to another quest, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, fine. I guess you can hang out here. You can keep your stuff here, too. I won't mess with it. So, what do you want to do first? Play hide and seek or tag? Let's go... Tag. Okay, tag, you're it. Do I get the key now? <gasps> yes, I do. Okay, cool. Those kids are actually running from me. 
I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Ah, you got me. Tag, you're it. Okay, I'll give you a head strike. Go. Up, 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 up. Yeah, you're not. Here I go. Okay, I'm curious. Can you tag me through a dumpster? Tag, you're it. Caught me. Yeah, tag, you're it. That's enough. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Sure. Sure. See ya. Kind of glad I hopped in this dumpster of corpses <laughs> to play tag. Jesus, that's messed up. Well, at least we got a key. We can fast travel. We're we, we gonna head in and out of here fairly quickly. That's cool. Child of Heart saves us a lot of uh, trouble. Where do, where do we end up? Oh, cool. It's kind of by the uh, cathedral, not too far away. That's pretty sweet. All right, well, um, that wasn't entirely what I had in mind because I, I figured there'd be something else going on. Yeah, Kenny's Cave. Okay, it makes sense now. Um, Coastal Grotto and Rex Sito. Huh. Oh, no, I, get, I feel a sneeze coming on. It's not going to happen, is it? Dang it. All right. Well, what I actually had planned... Uh, let's see if I can still do it, though. I don't, I don't know exactly where it is. But I can try and find it. Um... All right. Actually, let's head over here to the Coastal Grotto. And see if we can't do it fairly quickly. Uh, where's it going to be, though? The markers are kind of skewed. Let's head over here. Let's not trust that marker on the actual map. Like, on the compass down at the bottom. Let's just head east. See if we don't get, like, a little pop-up at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> I think where I want to head is the Coastal Grotto. I think that's a good assumption. Okay. Walking Dove Cathedral. I just got a pile of junk out there, don't I? Coastal Grotto's way further over this way. Okay, cool. Northeast. Hopefully this is quick. Um, yeah. I was going to say something, but... Let's see if we can't get to it first. Oh, and let's not die. Oh, okay. Sweet, sweet. Although, yeah, we're still... Still heading towards it. That's cool. I want to stay on the top until, like, I'm right above it. And then I can kind of just hop down. Almost there. I think... Here. Yeah. Cool. Should be... Ah! Coastal Grotto. Right here. Open door. Set inside. I know it says caution, but I doubt there's going to be any, uh, you know, enemies in here. <laughs> Still says caution. That doesn't make me, uh, too excited now. Alright. <clears throat> Let's actually equip our fertilizer shovel. It's going to be a new favorite. Okay, now it says hidden. Cool, cool. Got these torches here, meaning someone's here. Very wood. Very, very wood. I tried saying very well and very good at the same time. Yes, this is very wood. Next up is, uh, Decent Birch. Hi, Plick. Hi, Roller. Coming through. Welcome. Welcome to my extraordinary safari. Shall we get you registered? Registered for what, exactly? Only the finest bit of sport you've ever enjoyed. Once we review the rules and see to a nominal thousand caps registration fee, of course. Tell me more about the safari. Ah, uh, but of course. What would you like to know? Dude, what's the basic idea? The participants. Uh, that's you. Assemble in the arena. Once you've made your preparations, signal me with the button inside to begin the hunt. 
I'll remotely release a group of ferals against which you must defend yourself. Don't worry. I'll make sure there aren't too many loose at one time. You're in for quite a treat, if I do say so myself. And what if we get overwhelmed? How do I get out? Not an option, I'm afraid. The thrill wouldn't be the same if you knew I'd release you at the first sign of trouble, now would it? That's true. Do you have any weapons for me to use, or do I just bring what I have? Weapons are your own responsibility, sir. I'm sure you have your own preferences, after all. Okay, and if I win, do I get my caps back? That is the main thing here. On with the action, huh? You round up ghouls for slaughter? Isn't that, uh, <laughs> unethical, to say the least, of you? Have I tried to chew on your skull, sir? Perhaps you've noticed my ability to string words into complete sentences. These ferals are nothing like myself. I'm no more a monster for providing them than you are for slaughtering them. Alright, you do have a decent point. Normally I'd say a thousand caps, that's outrageous, but uh... Actually, gotta go now. We'll, we'll, we'll talk things over in the next episode, Plick. As you please. Alright, so, here we have a ghoul named Plick. He's got like his own little uh, security camera and whatnot, and he's got his own little Plick safari. And it should be fun. Should be fun. Uh, it wasn't here though, real quick. It's uh... Sneak on in and grab what we can, shall we? Obviously, we'll go ahead and grab these caps real quick. If we're going to pay him with anything, it's going to be his own money. <laughs> Partly. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all are enjoying this series, even though it is coming to a close. Hope you guys have been, you know, um, hopefully enjoying from the start. But, you know, if not... Oh, Plix Journal. Let's leave it alone. We'll, we'll read this in the next episode. But regardless, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all are enjoying, have been enjoying, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.